Numerous nations around the world are currently undergoing efforts to replace their aging fourth-generation fighters because their capabilities are rapidly falling behind that of current fifth-generation fighters. These fifth-generation fighters are increasingly being fielded by aggressor nations such as China and Russia. These nations who possess rapidly aging fourth-generation fighters and decided not to develop fifth-generation fighters of their own are now scrambling to catch up to this newfound threat and are now developing their own sixth-generation fighters. Let's learn about one of these efforts today. Introducing the Global Combat Air Program. Coming up next on the Stealth Channel. Before we begin today's video, we would like to thank everyone for finally surpassing 1,000 subscribers. However, as of July 7, 2023, we are still 600 view hours short of the monetization threshold. Be sure to watch until the end of our videos and help us reach our goal of getting monetized. Thanks for helping, and now, on to today's video. The Global Combat Air Program, or GCAP for short, is a multinational initiative led by the United Kingdom, Japan and Italy to develop a sixth-generation stealth fighter. It came about as a merger of two separate efforts to develop sixth-generation fighters. The first of these two efforts were the BAE Systems Tempest which was being developed by the UK, Italy and Sweden. The second of these two efforts was the Mitsubishi FX which was being developed by Japan. However, after the two programs were merged, Sweden elected not to participate in the GCAP program. The GCAP is intended to replace the Eurofighter Typhoon in the air forces of the United Kingdom and Italy. It will also replace the Mitsubishi F-2 in Japan's air self-defense force. The nations of the world saw a need for sixth-generation fighters as many of them operated fourth-generation fighters as their primary line of defense and had never joined the fifth-generation revolution, mostly because of the lack of a credible world threat during the 1990s and 2000s. However, during the second decade of the 21st century, Russia began to get aggressive with its neighbors and China began rapidly building its military with the latest technology and adopted a more aggressive posture towards its neighbors as well. Both Russia and China developed their own fifth-generation stealth fighters in order to close the gap with the Americans' two fifth-generation stealth fighters, the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. The Russians built the Suhoi Su-57 Felon, although they were only able to produce them in small numbers due to international sanctions over its invasions of Crimea in 2014 and Ukraine in 2022. These same sanctions have seemingly also killed Russia's fledgling Su-75 checkmate before it got past the mock-up stage. China built the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon to be a direct competitor to the F-22 Raptor and has produced about 150 examples of the aircraft so far and continues to upgrade it as production continues. In addition, China is currently developing the Shenyang J-35, a carrier-based naval variant of their FC-31, J-31 Jerfalcon, to equip its rapidly growing fleet of aircraft carriers. To see where the Global Combat Air Program is headed, we must look back to the two program efforts that were merged to become GCAT. The first of these efforts was the United Kingdom's Future Combat Air System Program. This British-led program is not to be confused with the similarly named Franco-German-Spanish program which also aims to build a sixth-generation stealth fighter and is currently in development as well. The manned fighter component of the program resulted in the BAE Systems Tempest. It was developed under the Team Tempest banner with BAE Systems from the United Kingdom and Leonardo from Italy leading the development team. The development of the Tempest began in 2015 with a planned in-service date of 2035. A full-scale mock-up of the Tempest was unveiled at the Farnborough International Air Show in 2018. Both Italy and Sweden signed a Memorandum of Understanding in 2020 committing to explore collaboration on the future combat air system program. A scale model of a redesigned Tempest was revealed at the Farnborough International Air Show in July 2022. The Mitsubishi FX, commonly nicknamed Godzilla, emerged as a result of the United States banning the sale of its F-22 Raptor to foreign nations. With Japan unable to purchase the F-22, 
a domestically developed fighter was chosen instead to replace Japan's aging fleet of fighter jets. This effort started in 2009 and Japan built a technology demonstrator, the Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin, which flew from 2016 to 2018, in order to help develop the technologies that would eventually go into the FX. Japan acquired the assistance of Northrop Grumman in the design of the FX's airframe and its resemblance to Northrop's YF-23 Black Widow II is very apparent. The FX was scheduled to enter service in 2031. In 2021, Japan's IHI and Britain's Rolls-Royce entered into an agreement for engine development work for the FX. London and Tokyo both had sixth-generation fighter programs underway with similar time frames for delivery of aircraft in the mid-2030s. This led to a merger of the two programs. In December 2022, Italy, Japan and the United Kingdom announced a joint agreement on a trilateral future fighter development project called the Global Combat Air Program which would merge the efforts of the FX and the Tempest. The agreement provides all three parties with economies of scale and an opportunity to share technology while developing a next-generation air combat system. The odd party out in this arrangement is Sweden, which had opted for more of an arm's-length observer status when defense ministers of the three countries inked a trilateral memorandum of understanding regarding development of the Tempest Future Fighter on December 21, 2020. Sweden began distancing itself from the program, as its focus remained on advancing its Gripen NG fighter. However, partnership dialogue is said to be continuing. A concept model of the G-CAP fighter was displayed at DSEI Japan in March 2023. In May 2023, a scale model of the G-CAP fighter, this time sporting Italian Air Force markings, was on display for the 100th anniversary celebration of the Italian Air Force. In July 2023, BAE Systems executives expressed confidence that the Global Combat Air Program will achieve its projected in-service date of 2035, with a manned, supersonic and low-observable jet demonstrator taking flight within the next five years. In addition, the company leaders believe they can find an export market of several hundred jets globally. We hope you enjoyed learning about the Global Combat Air Program. Stay tuned to this channel for more updates on the GCAP program when they become available. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment to help this channel grow and thanks for watching.